Scientists say that as our planet's climate continues to warm into the future, we can expect many changes in the weather. Even the powerful weather patterns known as El Nino and La Nina may change. And as meteorologist Corey Repenhagen explains, it's not for the better. El Ninos and La Ninas may get a lot of attention because they are known for creating intense and destructive weather events. Each event is somewhat unique. NCAR climate scientist John Fasulo focused a study on what happens to El Nino and La Nina events in the warmer climate of the future. The intensity of those year-to-year -year swings increased under climate change. A warmer climate gave you stronger heat waves, uh, stronger wildfires, uh, with El, El Nino or La Nina and, and stronger floods also. Fasulo used specially designed computer model simulations to tune out the impact of climate change and then compare it under the anticipated level of climate warming. The events in general in the future intensified by about 30 percent. So multiply this year's La Nina influenced drought and wildfire outbreak in the U.S. by 30 percent in the future. And so if you're managing wildfires in California, you care very much about what the worst case scenario is going to be. And that worst case scenario in the future is about the average becoming worse, but also about the extremes becoming worse. Fasulo says that El Ninos and La Ninas are the two strongest factors influencing climate variability right behind the change of the seasons themselves. It's really the gateway research to the weather of the future. Meteorologist Corey Repenhagen, 9 News. We are currently in an El Nino watch for this fall and winter. Although it is expected to be just a week event at this point, it does increase the likelihood of a colder and wetter bit of weather across the southern half of the country. Fasulo says that does include the southern part of Colorado.